this is like a really bad angle or not, but welcome. Um, it has been a very stressful week. I have a lot of shit to do before I leave for Cabo. <laughs> and with all the uncertainty going on right now about if borders are even gonna be open or like if stuff's gonna be shut down or whatnot, it's just like a little stressful right now, but we're gonna be positive, keep going. I'm gonna pack got a fizz or like half a fizz that I need to chug so I can have some energy um but let's get happy um I got this dude recently from base base I don't know I will link it in the description box down below for you guys but it is a huge luggage because I am taking a lot of shit with me um We're gonna take secret surprise wedding photos since we didn't get to take actual wedding photos and he has no idea. So I have to somehow get my wedding dress into this luggage. It's gonna be real great. And I'm also taking a bunch of other outfits with me to take a whole bunch of more content and pictures and stuff like that. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna fit all of that stuff in here. I also have this matching like getaway um, carry-on bag that I can fill some stuff with um, and I got some packing cubes to make this guy easier so we're gonna figure this out I got this cute like little beach bag from um, I bought this like comforter set from Target it's like one of like their new lines that they're carrying and it came like so this is what the comforter came in but it makes like a cute little beach bag i was like oh free beach bag so i'm taking that with me okay so i need to figure out what all of these things are oh oh this comes with oh it comes with like dirty clothes bags that's nice because i hate when like i have to figure out how where what pockets i'm gonna put like my dirty clothes in because, you know that's always fun to figure out i got these packing cubes off of amazon i will also i will just i'm gonna link everything that i'm using in the description box down below and if it's out of stock i will link a similar one i'm gonna take some one pieces just in case i want to um switch it up because i don't know what kind of i'm gonna be in i'm still waiting on one bikini to come in too so hopefully that comes before i leave I have are from like various places like this red one is from um, Princess Polly it's like a mid-rise one my all-time favorite ones are from um, 437 top and then the like cheeky bottoms they're very cheeky I love them I have this one in white and black and I also have the high-waisted bottoms for both of them which are great and then I have this like stone colored one that's from um shop tan lines it's Sivan ayala's um wine this one's like more of a high-waisted one i like to bring options so i have some high-waisted some low-waisted some one pieces because you don't know how you're gonna feel i'm gonna be on my period so i might be loaded i might want to let it all hang out i might want to cover up i don't know yet you know can i take you with me no okay Oh, and then I'm also bringing some cover-ups. I got all these off of Amazon. They're just like some kind of like, not very, not silk, but just like some like standard like scarf cover-up. So I can like tie it, tie it here, tie the skirt. These packing cubes are your best friend because they help keep everything organized and also help you smush some stuff down so that it can all fit. Because if you're an overpacker like I am, you basically want to bring your whole closet with you on a trip so you can have options because you can never have too many options, you know? Oh, yeah. All right. Packing cues number one. Done. I'm taking like three pairs of shorts. I'm going to take a pair of high waisted white ones. These are from American Eagle. I'm going to take these cute little like paper bag shorts. These are from Hollister. Again, never shop at Hollister, but I had a gift card and I was like, well, why not? And then taking these cute little like 
linen shorts. So I can have some short options just in case. I have all of the outfits that I'm gonna take. I need to wrap. I need to wrap this guy and it's like own little thing because it has a whole bunch of glitter on it. And I'm not trying to get glitter everywhere, you know? I got this really cute dress from, um, what is it called? White Fox Boutique. It was on sale for like $30. I know I'm never gonna wear it again, but I got it for some really cute pictures because my photographer is coming with us to Cabo. So I had to make sure that I had some options, again, options to uh, wear when she comes. So I got this really cute sparkly dress that was on sale for $30 when they were having their like huge big summer blowout. We're taking a couple of dresses. This beautiful dress is from Lulu's. So cute. It's like a silky mini dress. I'm stressed and I'm highly caffeinated right now, so there might be a couple like F bombs and bad words dropped here and there. I have called the dress in advance. Kids don't watch this. This is not for kids. I already put on YouTube that it's not for kids, so don't watch. You get this little black mini dress, also from Lulu's. I have this cute little like two-piece pant set, linen set from Princess Pop Lady that I have been dying to wear. And then I also have a cute white romper, also from Princess Polly. I think three people have um, a similar one. I'm pretty sure ASOS does too. I will try to find that for you guys. A lot of these outfits might be out of stock because I bought them so long ago. I bought them like in February because we were supposed to go on our honeymoon in April. And now it's July, so you know, thank you COVID. We had to push some stuff back. So <laughs> if some of these are out of stock, I will do my best to try and find some similar ones. Um, but yeah, I like, don't. And then I got this really cute, like lacy, kind of like cha cha y dress. I call it my cha cha dress, like the, the dancing girl, the dancing emoji girl. That's what I think of, um, like the red dress one. That's who I envisioned when I bought this dress. It's from Two Sisters, the label. This dress is my absolute favorite. It is from um, For Love and Lemons. It is very old. I got it off of like Poshmark forever ago. Um, and even like when it was on the fashion market, it was <laughs> sold out because it was like old, but it was so cute. I always get their stuff secondhand because it's so expensive. Like their stuff is ridiculously expensive, but it's very pretty, like super good quality. But you know, your girl can never afford like their full price stuff. So I get it secondhand. So I always get their stuff when it's like no longer available, but hey, I still get the cookie crumble sometimes, you know? And then I got this cute little like two piece midi silk skirt outfit from, where did I get you from? Fashion Nova has a slit. I had to buy two. I bought like two sizes because they don't come like separately. So you have to buy like either like the small, medium, large. So I bought the small and the small top fit me but the small bottoms didn't fit me because my butt's too big. So then I got the medium and then the medium top didn't fit me. So I had to sell the medium top and the small bottoms, which was real fun to try to do. And then I kept the small top and the medium bottoms. And then the last dress I'm taking is, again, from Princess Polly. It's like a little, it's a very, very, very mini dress. It has like a little like tie right here. Very short, but very freaking cute. So hopefully I can squeeze my little butt into this dress at one point during my trip. I think I can actually fit my shorts in there too, possibly. Okay. jeans in here and then I grabbed 
like another scarf for a top and then some like just some regular tank tops to wear like if I want to instead of wearing like a cover up if I want to just wear like a shirt and some shorts to the pool or to the beach or like if we're gonna go eat some lunch and like I don't actually want to like get full on dressed up then I will wear that to like lunch or something like that. I'm pretty sure all of this will fit in here. Yeah. It's gonna fit. Dude, these packing cubes literally fit so much stuff. I yawn. This thing's heavy. my dress with me and my carry-on folds up can i carry it in my carry-on so it doesn't get lost is that wild let's see you're like man what's in your bag it's just my wedding dress if i can pull this off this is gonna be like the greatest freaking accomplishment of my life oh 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 don't break the new bag. Don't break the wedding dress. Dude. We did it. Y'all, this carry-on bag fits a whole ass wedding dress in it. Taking my beloved um, lack of color hat. I fixed it. I cleaned it. So, going to put it in this guy so it doesn't get dirty. I'm also taking these two straw hats. Taking this guy, big floppy mess of a hat so that I can take some cute pictures and protect myself from the sun. And taking my smaller farmer hat because that one's cute, right? Pro tip, stuff something inside of your hat so it doesn't get all messed up. So I got these cute Sam Edelman like snakeskin print little block sandal heels off of Macy's for like super cheap actually. I'm going to bring these seed matted basic tan block heels. I don't like real heels if you can't tell because I can't walk in them. <laughs> I'm very clumsy, so gotta bring my wedding shoes. These are more like heels, but these are like these like periwinkle blue heels. Super cute. And I have these cute Steve Madden sandals. And then I have, I feel like all my shoes are Steve Madden. I have these cute Steve Madden sandals. I got the same pair, but in white, they're a little bit messed up. But bringing this cute little like straw bag that I got off of Poshmark and then I'm bringing this cute little bag that I got I think from like Target. I don't know where I got these from. This bad boy is amazing. I'm gonna bring you guys down here now. So got razors and some bobby pins in there. I'm bringing this little mini jade roller I got it from Target. I feel like that's gonna be the best thing for the plane or if I'm like feeling haggard, bringing some sheet masks. This one is from Target. Hi, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And then this one is from Chula. It's one of my favorite ones. Super great. Got this little like mini detangler from Target. Um, I have the full size, it's pretty nice. I have a travel size of my favorite perfume from um, Clean Collective. Mini of a Copley toner. Okay, Tula cleansing oil. Um, I also have the Tula like little makeup remover balm. Super good for travel. I have a mini of my um, Tula cleanser. Tula day and night cream. Got a um, rose glow and get it eye balm. Some travel Advil because hangovers. 
And then I'm also bringing um, two of my Coralie masks. I'm bringing the detox mask and then the hydrating mask. Moisturizing mask, sorry. Um, this is just in case I need to do a little detox on my skin. This is just in case I really get some like bad sunburn and I <laughs> need to do a hydrating mask because I can already see that happening. Got Arbon um, sunblock. And then I got my tanning oil. This is from Valley Body and it's the best. It's the watermelon one. Hi. Oh, yes. Summer likes that one. It's the watermelon one, super great. Also got a shimmering body oil, also amazing. And then some, um, hi, some butt wipes because you gotta have a clean butt. And then Casey's deodorant. And then bringing my favorite texturizing um, spray. And then my favorite hairspray. Almost forgot. Also bringing a little mini of my native deodorant. Oh, little minis. Got these also at Target. Amazing. Look at how much stuff I fit in here. And it's still closed. I always bring a mini of my Tula um, primer. And my Juice Beauty primer. I'm gonna bring my Drunk Elephant Debronzy Drops for sure. I'm gonna bring my Ilia Liquid Sunshine Drops. I think I'm gonna bring my Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen and my Glow Screen. Because again, freaking options. I can never choose which one I wanna bring. Bringing my um, Olima Pure. Smooth Prime Primer. I'm gonna bring my Kosas Revealer Concealer. I'm going to bring my Ilia Color Haze in Waking Up. Nude Stick Sunset Strip in Sun Kiss. Um, Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder for sure. Eyebrow Gel. RMS Eye Polish and Solar. And then the Kosas, um, what is this? Globe. 10 second eyeshadows, I can't remember the names of these. I'm gonna bring my Kosas Tinted Face Oil and then my Arbonne CC Cream. And then for lip colors, bringing my Tower 28 Lip Jellies, Fit Glow Lip Serum, Arbonne Peach Lip Liner, Cloven Hollow Mai Tai. That one's a super pretty color. Final test is to see if I can get all of this closed. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do to get your suitcase closed. Woo! Got my dress camera stuff. My computer's gonna go right there. Sheet mask and jade roller. Shoes on the bottom there. Computer will go in there. And then my week's worth of clothes all up in this guy. That guy holds a ton of stuff. I have to thank Whitney Simmons for obviously influencing me because she influences me for everything. But these two bags together, they were like pricey, but totally worth it. Like that thing fits so much. Whole ass wedding dress in there and shoes. And then y'all saw all the stuff that I packed in there. And these packing cubes, bomb. Like everything fit perfectly. And your girl is tired. That was some work. That took forever to do, but I'm glad I got it done. I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this thing edited for you guys um, before I leave. That way it can be up and yeah um <laughs> i am taking oh i forgot to pack my books i'm taking some books with me don't worry i gotta pack my books but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned make sure that you follow me on instagram because i will be posting so many cute cobble pictures it's gonna be amazing you guys will see our wedding photos there too Shh. we're gonna post those there um and yeah, it's gonna be just a freaking blast. I am super excited. It is a much needed vacation, a much needed honeymoon after having to cancel all of our stuff for the wedding. 
um so yeah get ready to see all of my cabo outfits i will be filming a what i wore in cabo when we're there um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video in cabo bye <laughs>